Welcome to Sportcast Media. I'm Chris Zorzi here with New Caney Eagles defensive back, Utah commit, CJ Blocker. CJ, what's your thoughts on the team's performance so far this year? Um, I think we're doing great, and we did great. You know, we're proving everybody wrong. Everybody with us out, we the underdogs, but we just came to work, you know, head down, full steam ahead like a train. You know, we're just working. And what's one player that has stuck out to you that's played or exceeded your expectations? Um, I have to say Dijon Lewis. Okay. DJ, why? I say why because, you know, everybody thinks he's too small and and he's just a basketball player. But he came in, he started working since day one. And I, lo I love that man. Like, he just has his head down, keep working. Nothing's too big for him. And DJ has played great so far this year. Uh, do you have any season goals that, that you're trying to accomplish this year? Um, season goals, I would have to say 10 picks. And I'm... I'm kind of on course, but you know we we just gonna reroute it. So, and you've got eight tackles, two PBUs, four interceptions, one interception return for a touchdown, and a 102 yard kickoff return. Uh, how have you played up to your standard this year? Um, I think I played very very outstanding so far in five games, but I think I still have a lot to improve and a lot to do and a lot to uh, prove to everybody. Is there a memorable play that you have from the season so far? Um, I'd have to say the pick six on Derek Lagway. Okay, yeah, that's a good. That was a good play. Um, what's your goals for the second half of the season? Um, goals is to just finish it game by game. You know, we obviously we want to go to state and and go win districts, but we just take it uh, game by game, and and you know, well, the goal I'd say like districts. So. And do you have somebody in your life, a mentor, or somebody that you've looked up to or tried to mold your game after? I'd say my dad because he's been in the steps that I want to go, and he's been through everything with me. So he's been pushing me since I was young. He's been to college, and so he wants. he's been in the places I wanted to be and want to be. All right, and what's your game day routines? Um, got to have something. Game days, I don't really do a lot on game days, but... Usually I'll sit there and think of me making plays that we went over in practice. Like we'll work one play and I'll think of me being in the game in that situation and making that play. Okay, and pre-game playlist. Ooh. Who's your go-to? My go-to artist or playlist or play or let's go artist. Let's go playlist first. What are you playing? Okay, I'll say I'll say some big scar, some uh NBA NBA Young Boy. Okay. Um, Got to put a little baby in there. Uh, I think that's about it. So, what's your favorite artist then out of those? Or not out of those, any artist? Um, I'd say Lil Dubbo. I forgot Lil Dubbo, but Lil Dubbo's in there too. Okay. Favorite hobby outside of football? Uh, favorite hobby? I'm a chill dude. When, it, when it's outside of school, I just be at home chilling and watching YouTube or football. So, I'd say just being at home with my family. That's really my favorite hobby. Okay, and what's your favorite go-to meal at home? Chicken Alfredo. Oh, some more That's Italian. Go -to. Go okay, to. so what's your favorite fast food place and what you ordering? I'd say, I'd say Whataburger and I'd, I'd um, order the patty melt with no onions. You've got to get okay. no onions. If you get onions on the patty melt, then you might as well just get something else. <laughs> All right, and if your coaching staff was a rock band, who's the lead singer? Um, Coach Taylor for sure. Coach okay. Taylor. All right, good luck the rest of the season. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Oh,